What's up guys, Paul from the Sysadmin channel bringing you the best tips and tools for your Sysadmin journey. In this video, we're going to cover the steps needed to implement multi-factor authentication in your environment using Azure Active Directory conditional access. So you can see here that I've already logged into portal.azure.com and I'm going to click on users and then multi-factor authentication. And here is basically the setup where we need to um, determine which methods of authentication we're going to use. So to do that, I'm going to click on service settings. And then once I click on that and that loads, uh, we can set up app passwords if we wanted to. Otherwise, if we scroll down to the verification options, we'll go ahead and select the notification through mobile app and verification code from mobile app or hardware token. Uh, right below that, I'm going to set the days before a device must reauthenticate to 30 days. Um, I feel like that's kind of the sweet spot between convenience and security. So, so once you have that ready, let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to close this window because I don't have any settings to apply right now. But back in our Azure AD window, let's go back into the root of Azure AD and then scroll down a little bit on the left side and click on security. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and click on conditional access. And this is where we're going to create our new policy. All right, so as you would expect, we'll go ahead and click on the new policy. And then here we're just going to call this policy common policy dash require MFA for all users. And then right below that under users and groups, we'll go ahead and select all users. Um, it's going to spit out a warning saying don't lock yourself out. So because of that, we're going to exclude the users that we want. And in our case, we're going to exclude the global admin account, which is our break glass account. So I'll go ahead and add that first. Uh, second, we're going to exclude our um, MFA exclusions group. Uh, this could be service accounts or um, any type of accounts that you do not want added. And then finally, we're going to exclude our Azure um, AD Sync account. So we'll go ahead and add that as well. And once all that is done, we'll go ahead and click OK to accept this portion of the policy. All right, next up is our cloud apps. Um, we're going to select all cloud apps because we want to MFA to everything in the cloud. Um, I particularly don't have any need to exclude anything, but if you wanted to, you can go ahead and enter in that there. All right, so once that is done, we'll go ahead and click on conditions and then client apps. And the default here is to prompt for MFA for both legacy and modern authentication. Uh, legacy authentication includes Exchange ActiveSync, IMAP, and POP protocols. Uh, in the future, we'll actually be going over best practices for setting up conditional access policies. And one of those best practice policies is to block all legacy auth. So we'll be blocking it, but for this policy, we'll go ahead and leave the defaults and move on. All right, so and next up, we'll go ahead and select grant under the access control. And then we wanna make sure that we require multi-factor authentication for anyone that's in scope of this policy. So once that is done, we'll go ahead and click on the select button to move on. And here you get a big bright red warning saying, hey, don't lock yourself out. And it gives you the option of excluding your account or not. Uh, prior to enabling this account, I would suggest you send out communications to your users, letting them know what to expect. Uh, if you already have MFA rolled out and you want to apply this as a catch all setting, um, then it would be a good idea to set it as report only to see which users actually fall under this policy. Um, I'll also show you where we can find this later on in the video. Uh, in my case, though, since I'm using this in my lab and it's only me, um, we'll go ahead and enable this policy and select the bottom radio button to proceed anyway. All right, with that policy now created, let's go ahead and open up an incognito mode and navigate to portal.office.com. And uh, it should prompt us for our username and password. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And here we're prompted with the more information require message box. And this is letting us know that we are in scope of our newly created MFA policy. And now it's requiring us to go through the steps through the setup process. So we'll go ahead and click next from here. And if you remember earlier in the video, we went over the methods of how they should contact you. Uh, this is where this applies here. So I've only set up a mobile app and I'm going to select receive notifications for verifications. And if we click on setup here, this is the QR code that we need to scan with our mobile app. Um, so you would need Microsoft Authenticator to continue. Um, so in the background, uh, you can't see this, but I'm actually scanning the code now. And then once that is done, I'll go ahead and click on next. And it should prompt me to uh, verify on my phone as well. So I'll go ahead and click next again. And unfortunately, I don't have a screen capture of my phone, but here um, I am getting prompted to approve this request. And you can see here that the verification was successful. All right, guys, this is Paul with the Sysadmin channel, signing out.